My name is Adam Friedman and I'm a consultant dermatologist here at the Harley Street Dermatology Clinic in London and I've worked in dermatology for about 15 years. I'm a general dermatologist which means I treat a lot of skin disease and in particular a lot of psoriasis. It's not just a skin condition, it's a chronic autoimmune condition that has yet to find a cure. People with psoriasis most often require lifelong treatment with medication or phototherapy. Psoriasis speeds up the life cycle of the skin cell and causes them to reproduce much more quickly than they should. And this results in thick, red, dry, scaly plaques that are often painful. Psoriasis affects around 2% of the UK population, that's roughly 1.8 million people. The exact cause of psoriasis is unknown, but there's no doubt that genetics play a role, as psoriasis can certainly run in families. My first flare-up was when I was 16. It was at the end of year of my exams, I was very stressed. I first noticed my psoriasis when I was about 11 or 12, but I didn't actually know it was psoriasis until I was 15 and then I learned it was hereditary. My first flare-up was very vicious. I was literally covered in head to toe within two to three weeks and then I was like that for years. Psoriasis makes me feel self-conscious. Um, I don't like being in crowds. I'm not gonna lie, there are dark days but you just have to push through because there is light but you've gotta find your own light. Support them and be there for them all the time. I'm happy to be there for them. I do say to her, look, you know, if you share a tear, share a tear. If you want to screen, do screen. Talk about it, research it, and, then, and learn what it is and ways to manage it. This is my psoriasis. I'm in remission at the moment, and these are what you call ghost spots. And this is my psoriasis, and you can get it anywhere on your body. I have it on both elbows and both knees, and it looks just like this. And um, it's really cliche, but it like does get better. The challenges I've faced and overcome. It make, makes me who I am today. It's made me not care about other insecurities as much because it makes you realise that everybody has insecurities and this is just one of many. When I first had my psoriasis, it used to make me upset and feel subconscious, but now I've learned to deal with my psoriasis and I'm not subconscious of it anymore and I've accepted my psoriasis and I've kind of embraced it into myself. Um, I quite like my little spots now. I am the face of psoriasis. 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 And I am not. I am not. I am not contagious. Psoriasis, psoriasis is not, not contagious. contagious. Psoriasis can range from very mild disease to very severe disease, but I think the most important message from today is not how severe your disease is, but how big an impact it has on your life. Remember, whatever the impact on your life, there is something we can do to help. If you're worried you have psoriasis or a psoriasis is affecting your life, please make an appointment to see your doctor.